Our next contestant, having a successful career spanning 17 years, Chris currently works at McGrath Partners in Sydney. He has won the state title in New South Wales twice, once in 2001 and again in 2005. He's fresh from a fly, a fly fishing trip. Fly fishing trip? Yeah, he is. He's fresh from a fly fishing trip to the Cook Islands, representing New South Wales. Please welcome Chris Maud. Victorian charm, modern convenience and community spirit. Now, these are all factors that have drawn your interest in our auction today. And that sense of community belonging, it can never be understated, ever. And perhaps you shared in that today. You might have attended our organic farmers' markets just around the corner. Perhaps you've had a stroll through the grounds of Callan Park or alternately, for the more enthusiastic, you ventured out on the seven and a half kilometre run around the bay, which commences at our very doorstep. And of course, that community spirit, it extends to our friends and to our family who enjoy the convenience and the benefit of being so well located near the vibrant bars and cafes of the Balmain Peninsula and, of course, the finest of Italian dining in Leichhardt to our south. For CBD commuters, of course, the options of light rail, bus and ferry, certainly factors you need to take into account in your bidding process today. A very good morning to you, ladies and gentlemen. My name's Chris Maud and I proudly represent McGrath Estate Agents and along with my agent, Ms Danielle Dewhurst, we welcome you to the auction today of number six Emmerich Street here at Lilyfield. Now, before we commence, there are a few formalities I'd like to take you through, and I'll do that ever so briefly for you. Please do listen carefully. This is important information for those parties intending to bid. Firstly, to advise you if you are bidding, it's an absolute requirement of New South Wales legislation. You do register to bid, and by now you should have one of our Blue McGrath bidding cards. They do hold the terms and conditions of auction sale on the rear side of those cards. Same terms and conditions on the signboard in front of me. And I'd certainly suggest to any party bidding at public auction, you become fully familiar with those terms. Now, some of the key points to note when you do bid, I literally require you to raise your card in the air for each and every bid. I cannot accept a bid otherwise. I also cannot accept a bid after the fall of the hammer. So please ensure you're in well before that process. And the other key point to note, I do retain the right today to bid buyer on behalf of my vendors or place a vendor bid. Now, if I do so, I'll certainly announce that to you. We also sell under very specific terms and conditions in New South Wales, which are as follows. Subject reserve price, the highest bidder shall be the purchaser. In the event of a disputed bid, the auctioneer will be the sole arbitrator, and my decision shall be final. Now, the auctioneer may refuse to accept any bid which, in his opinion, is not in the best interest of the vendor, and the sale is subject to reserve price. And the right to make up to one bid buyer on behalf of the vendor is hereby reserved. Now, a bidder shall be deemed to be principal as prior to bidding is given the auctioneer a copy of a written authority to bid for or on behalf of a person. Or to put that more simply, if you're bidding today for a friend, a relative, a client, someone other than yourself, you must give us a letter of authority to do so. And as soon as practical, after the fall of the hammer, the purchaser shall sign the contract, and at that stage we will get you to remain behind, where we will also require a $60,000 deposit as part payment of your purchase price. Now, the contract I'm holding is a standard form of contract as approved by the Law Society of New South Wales and the Real Estate Institute, and I'll price it now for you. Daniel Dewhurst of McGrath Estate Agents is being agent uh, for our vendors. Baldock, Stacey and Niven, having prepared the contract, they state a settlement date be in line with the second day of November 2000. The inclusions being the blinds, built-in wardrobes, curtains, dishwasher, the fixed floor coverings, the insect screens, the light fittings, the range hood and stove. Usual attachments here, and you have a Section 149 zoning certificate, the water sewage and drainage diagram, and the property certificate or title for the land is certainly also attached. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'll certainly take a moment now if there are any questions that you might have at this point with regard to either the property, uh, the contract, or the terms we sell under today. Yes, ma'am. Can you tell me when you're selling? Because I don't want to bid until the property's on the market. Right, ma'am, I appreciate your position. I'll certainly indicate very clearly to you when the property will be sold. No doubt about that today. Thank you for your question. Any further questions? Well, I alluded earlier to the many benefits of this Lilyfield precinct. And, of course, it is the charm and the elegance of this freestanding Victorian home behind me 
that has captured your attention and your interest today. The picturesque facade with the inlaid wrought iron fencing, which gives way to a very welcoming formal hallway. And as you would expect, many of the home's original character features have remained intact in a very soft, neutral palette. The wide polished floorboards with their well-worn honeyed hue, the working fireplaces, certainly with their marble and cedar surrounds, the separate formal lounge and dining rooms which are very well serviced by the granite and gas kitchen and the informal family room which does give way to the finest of alfresco dining, whether on the home's two sun decks or alternately the stone flagged courtyard surrounded by the Tuscan inspired garden. For families, the three bedrooms, certainly well serviced by the renovated bathroom and the separate powder room, and the added benefit of attic storage and multiple off street parking cannot be understated. Ladies and gentlemen, location, size, and elegant charm. The property's number six, Emmerich Street here at Lilyfield. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm in your hands to go for an opening bidder offer to start me away, please. Where do we go? Where do we start? Opening bidder offer. Not all at once. In your hands for a start. Certainly... I'll certainly bear you in mind on that bit. I'd like to hear a little bit more than that at this stage. It was, that, was that nine, you said? 900, pardon me, 900,000 the bid. And sir, I will go with you at that bid now. At 900,000 the bid and your bid price and offer now at 900,000. Bidding here now, one bold bid at 900,000. Bid me here now at 900 the bid. At 900,000, bid me here now. Do I call it up quickly? Bidding here now at 900,000 dollar bid now at 900,000. Here for the first time called now at 900 the bid. 50 the bid. 950, thank you, ma'am, there at 950. Bid against you, sir. Round me out, surely, at this stage. 950,000, bid me here now at 950 for one even, surely. At 950,000, bid me here now at 950 the bid. Bidding now at 950,000, one even, thank you, sir. Now at one's the bid now. At one million dollar bid even now. Bidding here now at one million now. You bid here, ma'am, now at one million even. At one even now. Bidding now at one million even now. Can I say perhaps 20 to help you out at this stage? 25 you are, 1 and 25 at 1 million 25,000. Sir, can I just see your card just to acknowledge there? Thank you very much. At 1 million and 25,000, bid down now against you, sir, at 1 and 25, bid and 50. At 1 million and 50,000, bid me here now at 1 million and 50,000. Ladies, bid at this stage at 1 million and 50,000 is the bid. We're at 1 million and 50,000, bid me here now at 1 million and 50 against you, sir, now. 1 million and 50 now, in or out quickly now, you need to let me know. We're at 1 million and 50,000, the bid down now, and fair warning, I'm going to call it up. Bidding here now at 1 million and 50,000, and not missing anyone now. At 1 million and 50,000 now for the first time called now at 1 million and 50 is the bid. Second call now at 1 million and 50. Last chance, last opportunity. Bidding here now at 1 million and 50, you're done. Silent, no further bidding. Right, we'll have that opportunity to a vendor bid. I'll place that now at 1 million and 75,000. We'll be the bid and offer now at 1 million and 75. And make it clear, a vendor bid at this point now at 1 million and 75. Against you all at this stage at 1 million and 75 is the bid. Bidding now at 1 million and 75,000. Bid me here now. Who will round me out at this stage now at 1 million and 75 and 1 1? At 1 million 100,000. Bid me here now to 1 million 100,000. And thank you, sir, now at 1 million 100. Bidding at 1 million 100,000. The gentleman's bid now at 50. 20. 20 and 20 the bid now. 120 the bid now at 120 you are. At 120, bid me here now to 120, sir. Bid against you now for 40 if you like. At 120 is the bid. At 120, bid me here now to 140. Thank you, sir. Now at 140. At 1 million 140,000, the bid's down in front now at 1 million 140,000. Bidding here now at 1 million 140,000, bid against you, sir. Surely at this stage now at 140, the bid. At 1 million 140,000, you're bidding now at 1 million 140. 45, I'll go with you, ma'am. We are selling today. I need to make it clear to you. As I said, I would. We are selling. The property will be sold at 1 million 145,000. The bid here now to 145. At 145 is the bid. At 145, the bid here now to 145 is the bid. At 145 now. At 145. At 145, the bid. Sir, as you are the registered uh, cardholder there, you need to show the card. 
150. The bid at 150 now at 150. At 150, bid me here now at 150. At 150, the bid here now, as you are registered, take it from you there at 150 is the bid. At 150 now, against you both at this stage now at 1 million 150. We are selling, make no mistake now, at 1 million 150, the bid price and offer. Charming, elegant family home. At 1 million 150,000 now, the three bedrooms. Stunning courtyard. At 1,150,000, bid me here now, in or out quickly now, you need to let me know. I'm going to call it up again. Fair warning now, bidding here now, the $1,150,000 bid now for the first time called now, 1,150. Second call now, 1,150, the bid. 151, I'll go with you there, sir, at 151, the bid at 1,151,000. You're bidding, sir, now. Surely you stage for another one at least now. At 151 the bid. At 151, the bid here now to 151. So you'll need the card if you're going to bid. You'll need to retrieve it. At 151 the bid at 152, the bid now. I'll take that as an in, in, a single bid there. At 152, you are, sir, right in front now. 153, 153, the bid at 153. At 1,153,000. We're at 1,153,000. Now, you need control of the card, sir, if you're going to bid. At 1,153,000. 53,000, the bid here now. We're at 1,153,000, the bid in front, mate, no mistake. At 1,153,000 dollar bid now, 54, 54 the bid. At 54, they seem to be weakening. At 1,154,000, at 1,154,000, you're definitely sure and certain, ma'am, you've been all the way with me. Sir, at this stage, acknowledgement one way or the other. At 1,154,000, in your hands at this point now, bidding now, 1,154,000 dollar bid now for the First time call now, 1,154,000. Second call now, 1,154,000, the bid. Last chance, last opportunity. Third and final call at 1,154,000 dollar bid. Done, silent. Both for the bidding, done. Done, congratulations, welcome your neighbours. Commiserations to our underbidders and thank you very much indeed and have a very safe and happy weekend. Thank you.